This video was made possible by EA Game Changers. In today's video I'm going to take you on a tour of the house I've created using mostly items from the Dream Home Decorator Game Pack. I've created this house for my sim who I'm going to make the decorator, so I'm going to make some videos on how to actually complete the gameplay features for this new pack, but firstly I wanted to show you the house that she's going to be living in. The front door is from this pack but there were no windows available so I've used ones that matched it the best. So they're sort of the same colour. So this is how it looks inside. My sim is here, standing, watching TV. For some reason she actually can't sit on that sofa. I don't know if I'm doing something wrong. Probably, but yeah, she's just standing in front of the sofa watching the TV. This room is the living room and the dining room all in one. There's also a bookcase there so they've got somewhere to sit and read a nice book. I've used a lot of the modular items to create. So we've got this like TV unit here by putting all these modular furniture items together to create that. And by the bookcase we've also got the clove rack there. And by the front door we've got the shoes. She's got a lot of shoes. The shoes were one of the cluster items you get in this pack. And you know me, I love a clutter item, so I've used quite a lot of them in this build. The sofa is the one that you make yourself, so you can make it as long as you like using that chair. So like you would with counters, you can turn it into a corner there to create like an L-shaped sofa. So that's really cool. I did mention that in my build and buy items video. I just didn't show you how to do it because I started building this house and realised I could do it. So this is the dining room. I've gone for quite pastel colours. I like the yellows and the greens and I really like this wallpaper. And obviously we've got the blues in the sofa as well. I think the room ties in well together. In the middle here we've got a downstairs bathroom. There's not a huge amount going on in here. I just wanted to use both of the new baths because there's one upstairs as well and this lovely new sink. Through these double doors here we come to the kitchen. I made the kitchen very green. I just felt like we needed some colour because she's going to be creating some amazing interiors for people's houses so I thought maybe her house would be a bit quirky with a lot of different colours going on. And I found that this modular furniture here went really well with it because you could have the green fronts as you can see there. So I've put them all together to create another unit full of items. I definitely think it's more realistic to have like a lot of storage spaces in your house. And we've got this island in the middle of the kitchen. And then we've got another double doors that lead to the stairs. There were no stairs available in this pack but we've got the table there and that painting and also the clutter items on the table from the pack. The railings I believe are from City Living. I'm not entirely sure though, that may be wrong. So I decided to build a lovely mezzanine here. I wanted this to be a one bedroom house just for this sim and I wanted a huge open space mezzanine because I like a good mezzanine. There's one door up here which leads to our sim's bedroom. I haven't actually tested if adults can sleep in bunk beds. Hopefully they can because I really wanted to use one in this build. Again, I've used the modular furniture down the side of the bunk bed there. And in this corner here we have another bathroom. So I've used the other bath in this one. I love both of them and I couldn't decide which one I wanted to use so I used them both. And in the corner here we have the wardrobe, walk-in wardrobe section, using the modular furniture again. This is a better view of the bathroom, you can actually see into it. Let's see if we can get a better one of the wardrobes. There we go, we can see the clothes hanging up there. And lots of clutter items above the wardrobes. I didn't really leave enough space to make it completely modular down there but I filled it in as much as I possibly could. 
I really love that desk as well. There's a few desks available in this pack and that's one of them. This is the house from above, so you can get a better idea of where all the items are. So it's not a huge house, I didn't want to create a massive house for this sim. I just wanted it to be fit for purpose. A one bedroom house with lots of style I suppose and lots of modular furniture items because I wanted it to be more space saving and you can't really do that in a big house because there's not much point is there. If you would like to see these items in more detail check out my build and buy items video and I've also created one for the creator sim items too. The link for both of those videos is in the description. That was my tour of the house I've created using the Dream Home Decorator Game Pack items. Please like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel for lots of Sims 4, Sims Replay and Sims Mobile videos. Thanks for watching, bye!